Git is made to preserve the history of changes on your project. But what if some changes are unwanted? My name is Maxim, and in this video I will show you how to undo almost anything in Git. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. First thing to remember is that there are two kinds of undoing things in Git. One is safe and others, to different degrees, are not. Let's start with the safe one. It's called revert. This command automatically generates a new commit with the changes opposite to the commit you are undoing. Here is an example. First, let's check what commits we have. Git log. Let's say I want to revert this commit, where we create the new file. Head is actually pointing to this commit right now. So I can run git revert head. Git automatically created a new commit where it deleted the new file that was created in the previous commit. Now I can edit the commit message and save the commit. If I run git log again, we'll see that now we have a new commit that reverts the previous one. This command is safe because the changes that you're undoing are still there and you can bring them back if you need to. In most cases, this is the command that you want to use. Even if you already pushed the unwanted changes, you can still revert them and go the dangerous commands. They're dangerous because they can lead to you losing some of your work. So be extra careful. Here is the list of commands that you can use in Git to undo changes, but you should be extra careful with. Git checkout. Usually this command is used to switch to a different branch or to a different commit, but you can also use it to undo changes in your working directory. Here is how it works. If you have changes that are not committed yet, you can use git checkout dot to discard them. Here is an example. Let's check the status of the repo. Git status. The readme file is modified. We can check what is changed there by running git diff. You see, there is a new line saying some changes. The readme file is tracked by git. So I can revert this change by running git checkout dot or I could specify the readme file. If I run git status again, we'll see that there are no changes to commit. This command won't affect staged or untracked files. Git clean. This command is used to remove the untracked files. If you've just created the files and they're not tracked yet, you can use git clean to remove them. Be careful, because this command will remove them permanently. So before running it for real, Run it with the dash n flag. It will show you which files will be removed. After you check that the list with the files for removal is correct, you can run the command again with the f flag. With this flag, git clean will actually remove the untracked files. Here is an example. Let's say we create a new file that is untracked yet. touch untracked.txt. If we run git status, we'll see that there is a new file that is untracked. To remove it, we can run git clean. Without any flags, you will get a notification saying that you should use some flag. To preview what's going to be removed, we run git clean dash n. It said that it would remove untracked.txt. Let's say that's what we want. Now we can run git clean dash f to actually remove the file. If we run git status again, we'll see that the working tree is clean and there is nothing to commit. Git restore. This command is used to undo the changes in the staged area and in the working directory. If the changes that you want to undo are in the tracked file but are not staged yet, run git restore dot or the file name and git will discard these changes. If the changes are staged, Run git restore with a dash dash staged flag. This will discard the changes in the staged area. If you have both staged and unstaged changes that you want to undo, run git restore dot or the list of file names and then dash dash staged dash dash work tree. This will discard both staged and unstaged changes. Here is an example. Let's run git status. And you'll see that we have both staged and unstaged changes in the readme file. To restore both of them, we'll run git restore 
dash dash staged dash dash work tree and then dot to restore the whole repo let's run git status again nothing to commit working tree clean that means that both staged and unstaged changes are gone git reset this command is used to undo commits but it can also be used to undo the changes that you haven't committed yet this is by far the most dangerous command in git because it can actually remove commits the way it works is that you run git reset and then specify the commit that you want to reset to you can also provide the flag that specifies what to do with the changes that have been undone here is an example let's see the log git log we still have the reversal commit let's reset it git reset head tilde one to reset our repo to the commit that goes before the last one head tilde one we can also specify dash dash soft flag to keep the changes in the staging area dash dash soft now let's run git status and we have a staged change that removes the new file txt if we run git log we'll see that the last commit now is the one where we add the new file learn more about git in my book command line git everything you need to know to get started you can get the first chapter for free on my website maximivanov.com books Here is an example. Let's see the log. Git log. We still have the reversal commit. Let's reset it. Git reset head tilde one to reset our repo to the commit that goes before the last one. Head tilde one. We can also specify dash dash soft flag to keep the changes in the staging area. Dash dash soft. Now let's run git status. And we have a staged change that removes the new file txt. If we run git log, we'll see that the last commit now is the one where we add the new file. 